Hey there, Moore here, and thank you for joining me on my channel today. Today is another episode of Tip Tuesday, but today's tips, not so much tips for you, but I want to reveal to you the top three mistakes that I have done playing this game so that potentially you can avoid those pitfalls, so you could avoid making those same mistakes for your account, so you can progress your account a little more efficiently, a little more effectively. But before we get into it, I want to give a big thank you and shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. It means the absolute world to me. Without you here, this channel wouldn't be in existence. Without you here, this channel just would not progress. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. And if you are here watching this video and you are not yet a subscriber of this account, sorry, of this channel, then I hope at the end of the video, I can have the privilege of calling you a subscriber of this channel. So let's find out what three mistakes I've made that I think are the biggest mistakes I've done. All right, so the top three mistakes that I feel I've made on my account in general playing this game. I've now got two 100% free-to-play accounts and my mistakes. I'd probably say the third. I'm going to go in order here. I'm going to go three, two, and then one. So the third mistake, the third most biggest, hugest, however you want to explain it, mistake that I've done is to actually not complete the daily quests on a daily basis. Completing the daily requests gives you free stuff, free energy, free experience, free silver, free gems. You complete them on a daily basis. It is free just to play the game, do the arena, do the uh, not the dungeon, sorry, do the arena, do the campaign. Sometimes you have to do some dungeons, just upgrading stuff. It's just doing the game, playing the game. But my mistake sometimes is I wouldn't focus on what it required. Focus on what it me needs to actually complete the daily request. That would be, my opinion, the third biggest mistake I've actually made because completing these daily requests feeds into these weekly quests which gives you an ancient shard, gives you energy, gives you experience, which feeds the monthly request, which gives you a void shard and a sacred shard. Sacred shards are one of the biggest and hardest things to ever get in this entire game. And it's fed by daily quests. You do your daily quests, which are simple and easy. It will feed into the bigger ones and the better ones. It's just free stuff. As a free-to-play, as a low-spend account, you just can't afford to pass these things up, pass these rewards up in me. I would say that's my third biggest mistake that I've made in the game is to not stick with my daily requests on it. Sorry, my daily quests on a daily basis. That's my third biggest mistake. Hey there, not sure if you're aware or not, but the account you're seeing right now, I'm going to be giving it away. I'm going to give it away to one lucky subscriber once we hit 2000 subscribers. So if you want a chance to get this, there'll be a card up in the corner. Go to that video, leave a comment on that video, and explain to me why you want a chance at this account. And I'll give it away once you hit 2,000 subscribers. So my second biggest mistake that I think I've made in the game is underestimating and undervaluing the importance of a speed farmer for your campaign. Currently, this account, I focused on doing building Jizzo here. Jizzo is my campaign farmer. Who would have thought, right? Jizzo, the free-to-play defensive base tank that you get as a login reward, is my campaign farmer. However, I shouldn't have focused on him. I should have built up a speed farmer of some kind, whether my starting champion, El Hain, or whether it be a Queen Eva, or whether it be a Bellower, somebody else. A speed farmer is extremely valuable. Helps you get through the content. Helps you build up the next level 60 so much faster, so much faster. Jizzo here, however, can get this in 100% reliability. He could farm this. It takes him about a minute to a minute 30 at times, sometimes as fast as 45 seconds to get this done. A speed farmer does it in 6 to 10 seconds. I can get 4 to 5 times the runs with a speed farmer than I can with Jizzo. It just goes so much faster. Now, yes, sometimes as a free-to-play or low-spend account, you will run out of energy with your speed farmer. But having the ability to be able to do it and knock it out just like that, it's nice. It helps. It's beneficial and helps you progress through your content just a bit faster. Because you can get that next 60 
so much quicker, especially if you have built up and saved up energy. My second biggest mistake is under my second biggest mistake is undervaluing the importance of a speed farmer for a campaign. Hey there, if you're liking the video so far, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks. So, my first biggest, most horrible and worst mistake I have done in this game. I never fed anybody that I wasn't supposed to. I wasn't one of those. I didn't make those kind of mistakes. I didn't make the mistakes of just feeding random epics or even a legendary for that matter to anybody else anywhere else in the game. Me, the biggest mistake that I feel I have ever done in this game was I used epic and legendary books to book rare champions. Wow. I can't believe I did something like that. Epic books, especially legendary books. Legendary books are, you know what, Hell Hades just did a video and he called it perfectly. Legendary books are like gold dust in this game. They are few and far between. They are so hard to get a hold of, but they are so valuable for your legendary champions. I understand. Me personally, my opinion is legendaries in general, as a concept, the way this game does it, legendaries are overrated. Legendaries are not worth the effort because the chances of getting those legendary books and the chances of getting those potions to master them up and not master them up, sorry, to ascend them are just so hard to get when it comes down to it. The resources required to get a legendary and invest into a legendary are so hard for free to play in a low spin account. They're overrated. They're not worth it. However, the epics that require that book right there, epics are the backbone of this game. The epics are what drive this game and push you through the content. Rares help as well. But you don't want to feed a rare epic books. And I did that. That was my biggest mistake I feel I've ever done. I gave epic books and legendary books to rare champions. My logic at the time was, you know what? I'm using this champion. The champion is helping me progress through the game. I want this specific rare champion. Not this one. Just in general. I want my rare champions to be beefed up, leveled up, and booked up. So I used whatever books I had at the time, which happened to be legendary and epic books. Don't do it. Save your epic books for epic champions. Save your legendary books for legendary champions. Save your rare books for rare champions. And don't put rare books in uncommons. If you want to book an uncommon, use extra copies of the uncommon. You're going to get them. You can even buy those ones in the market sometimes. Don't book uncommons with tomes. Don't book rares with epics or legendaries. Don't book epics with legendaries either. Focus and keep the rarity of the book with the rarity of the champion one for one exchange my biggest mistake i've ever done is i put lepics and legendary books into rare champions don't do it don't be like me you don't want to do it you don't want to do it at all so i want to take a moment here i want to not say recap but i want to caveat the video that i've just did the video that you just watched here Talk about the three biggest mistakes that I've made in Raid Shadow Legends. I want you to remember that when it comes down to it, yes, this is only a game. And yes, I've made mistakes. And yes, you've made mistakes. And yes, you were going to make mistakes. And I'm going to make more mistakes as we play this game. But it's just a game. Everything you can do, everything you do is recoverable. Probably one of the biggest things that is the hardest thing to recover from if you ever do it is feeding the wrong champion to somebody else, ranking up a champion, using another champion as food that you really probably shouldn't have. Whether it be you make the glorious mistake of feeding a Dracomorph or feeding a Skullcrusher or a Valkyrie or something like that. That's probably the hardest mistake and biggest mistake to recover from. Everything else in the game you can recover from. Give it some time, give it some patience, and you're gonna be able to get past it, get through it. You're gonna get more books. You can definitely rebuild another farmer. You can definitely overcome almost any mistake that you do in the game. Because it's just a game. Give it enough time, enough patience. This is a long-term game. For example, think about it. That gem mine that's there takes 1,500 gems to actually fully upgrade it to level 3, right? Once you then upgrade it to level 3, it then will take 100 days for that gem mine to give you that 1,500 gems back. So it's a 100-day investment. Plus the daily login rewards that go for 180 days. That's a six month investment. This game is built and designed for you to be playing long term. 
You're going to play long term. Most likely, most people do. And it's okay. If you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Don't stress over it. Don't worry about it. You can recover from it and you can be able to progress your account. All right, you guys, before we end this video, before we cut out here today, real quick, I want to give a big shout out and plug here to this clan right here, Whale Shares. Me and one of my friends, we just recently started this clan. It's not very big. We only got five people right now in it, but we are actually only on the hard clan boss. Personally, I can't clear this clan boss for us. I can't clear this difficulty for us by myself. If I bring my other account in, I just might be able to do it, but I think I'll need like 10 keys to get it done. To pull it off, <clears throat> anybody wants to jump over, jump over, join the clan, help us out, be a part of the group because you know what? The guys here are pretty cool. There's only five of us. Like I said, it's already started to be a di decent little group. Come join us. Join the clan. Let's build this up together. Let's have fun and raid Shadow Legends together. Thank you so much for the watching this video all the way through. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, the bell notification, and I'll see you on the next video.